Alrighty, folks, it is the next morning, and it rained a little bit last night, so this is going to be a sloppy mess. This was already wet yesterday. I got the driveway graded out for the most part, and still got to do a little touch-up. We ran into a bunch of big roots yesterday, stumps under the ground. This area where the walkway is going, there is a big stump right here. Looks like the guy came and ground it all down. So hopefully we're good there. There's also another stump here that he came and ground down. I don't know if he did that first thing this morning or yesterday afternoon. But I got some sleeves that I'm gonna put in today. And we got a load of crushed concrete coming at 9 o'clock, he said, which is in five minutes. So we'll see if this one is on time or not. Let me go ahead and get the machine unloaded and bring these pipes over here. Got the crushed concrete dumped. I'm going to go ahead and take away the ramp that I just built the dump truck. He's on his way back with the paver sand next. I got a bunch of sleeves I gotta put in before I can spread this crushed concrete everywhere. He did crack the asphalt a little bit there. So I'm trying to fill this area up with some of the crushed concrete because it's so wet and just mixing in some crushed concrete in there, even if it's too high, that's fine. I'll just dig it back out later, but I want to just dry this area up because this area is too wet to work in. The compactor, even after I did all this at the end of the day, wasn't able to compact that area. It was just sinking. So really just need to get this area dried out in the next few days so that it's actually in workable condition.
this uh, walkway over here.
right, so I just spoke with the contractor and uh, luckily we don't have to put these gutters in because they are getting moved to the side and the back so none are going under the driveway and uh, we're gonna run two here two here one there and two there so that's the plan he also told me to go ahead and take out this dirt to tie right here because we won't be able to access it once the travertine pavers are in so I might as well take it out for him now so that's what we're gonna do right now take out this little planter bed full of mulch and dirt The contractor wanted me to take out all of this dirt and mulch in this planter bed here because uh, it's way too high for where the paver level is going to be at and once all the travertine pavers are in there's you really don't want to be driving a machine over the pavers so might as well take that out now and then they'll come in there and fill that with uh, 89 rock or maybe some mulch I'm not sure what they're doing in that area but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a planter bed so just going to get it down just had some lunch and now I'm really just trying to create a swale here back away from the paver driveway the contractor asked me if I could help him out with that a little bit um, so that's kind of what I'm working on now and then when I do that I'm gonna start laying some more crushed concrete on the driveway and then setting pipes and then continuing on from there Since there's no more um, pipes or sleeves going in on the driveway, I was able to go ahead and start putting the crushed concrete in there. There is one sleeve that I put in, which you can see right here. I'm putting that sleeve in there, filling it back up, and then grading out the rest of the driveway. Uh, so that was easy, no gutter downspouts.
All right. So we got most of the uh, crushed concrete in here. I'm gonna. I forgot to set these um, sleeves right through here and right through here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I already set the two sleeves in there. I just taped them up. And I set the sleeve going through there. Now I gotta do these doubles. Real quick, not a big deal. After all the PVC stuff I've been doing lately, it sure is nice to just set some sleeves. <laughs> Not much to that. sleeves
gonna sprinkle some down here. So I just got everything compacted and uh, still could use some more crushed concrete. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring a bunch more crushed concrete and feather it in before I put any of the 250 sand over here on top of it. Might wait till tomorrow to put the 250 sand on top. So got quite a bit of work and there's some rain coming in. So we'll see. So I got it graded as far as I could. I told you earlier I couldn't do the bottom side because of how wet it was, but the next day I was able to finish that up. The pavers are getting laid. They're almost finished on this job, so I will show you the final product. We also are doing a bunch of artificial turf in the front yard of this job. It's going to be a big turf job, so more videos to come on this job site. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Almost at 150 subscribers, so I'm happy about that. And subscribe if you aren't already.